everybody and welcome back to another vlog. This one is a little bit different to normal and I can make this intro so long giving you all the information you could possibly need to understand what is about to unfold but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it short and sweet and try and kind of explain on the job but basically as a lot of you will know I have just finished my second year at Loughborough University studying history. Alongside that I have chaired the equestrian club and competed all year for the B team where you compete horses that you've never ridden before, you're judged on style and you have like five minutes to warm them up. My team was one point away for qualifying for regionals, but the A team did qualify for regionals and needed somebody to stand in. I stood in, we qualified for nationals as a team and I've been given the chance to go to nationals. So we are staying away. We're heading to Moulton Equine College, I think. That's where nationals is being held this year for two days of competitive uni nationals action. It will be dressage on day one and then jumping on day two. This is crazy. Like if you get through to the final round of dressage, you've got to do like a pre St. George style test. If you get through to the final round of show jumping, you have to jump 120 on horses you've never sat on before. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. It's going to be manic. It's a team competition. So yeah, I have no idea how this is going to go. I will kind of try and explain like the rules as, as we go, but yeah, there's, there's a lot to take in. Our very first thing that we'll be doing tomorrow is a team test. So three horses in a 20 by 40 arena doing a test all in one and you've only sat on them for like five minutes. Yeah. So I'm going to go and pick up some of my team. We're sort of all scattered all around the country at the moment because uni has finished. So I'm going to pick up Mona first from, she's come from the airport, she's flown in from France. And then we're going to head up to Loughborough, have a training session tonight and then head to the hotel out of day one tomorrow. I'm gonna to bring you along as best I can, but yeah, I'm running a bit late to pick up from the station, so let's go. Okay. Do you want to do another circle? Okay. I feel like we need to come properly down the long side so that we can all turn yeah. into even. Yeah, after some cajoling, I've encouraged my teammates to come on camera and give us thoughts after our second and final team practice. So, I mean, what do you think? How do you feel about tomorrow? Um, I, I think the confidence is going to build as we ride. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And um, what did you think, Lucy? Um, we're going to need a bit of luck, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to teach them how to be vloggers over the weekend, which they're so excited about. But yeah, that is, I thought it was better to show you rather than explain what we have to do. That is the first of up to potentially four dressage tests we have to do tomorrow so stay tuned for that excuse the angle if i move the camera my face is covered in shadow so you get this basically team training is done which was good it was nice to have another practice of the first test there are four rounds of dressage tomorrow but that is the only one you are guaranteed to do after that like 
not everyone gets through. And what now? The university are actually putting us up in a hotel tonight because it's over an hour away and our call time tomorrow is 7.30 a.m. It's gonna be early. So come to the hotel, let's get dinner, let's just chill and get ready to go tomorrow. Right, we have made it to the travel lodge where the uni have very kindly put us up after a small drama because they only had one room and there's four of us and we only had two beds, but we're all sorted. And here is a very quick room tour featuring Lucy making a cup of tea because she's a northerner, her words, not mine. This little bathroom situation going on, so very good. This is our base for the next couple of days and we're ready for an early start and a full day of competition tomorrow. And we're waiting for the final two team members to arrive. Third mirror, mirrors everywhere. Right, good morning everybody. National Day one. We've got our coffee and tea and we are headed to Moulton for dressage day. So what you can expect to see today is a drill ride, first of all. So what we were practicing yesterday. We have seven minutes, I think, to warm up horses that we've never sat on before. And then we go straight in and do that. And we're judged on style against other uni teams who will do the same test on the same horses. And if you are the best on your horse, you go through to the next round, basically. We've got all four of us now. I, uh, I've not forced Gracie onto the vlog yet, but it's coming. <laughs> it's pending. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a long day. Four rounds of dressage. If you like keep getting through to the last round then it's like grand prix level like it's like some hard stuff so you know i'm not gonna get there but we'll see <laughs> go left bro we're being positive Okay, so we drew a second on our horses, which meant we could watch another team, I believe this is Edinburgh, go first on our horses, which is actually quite a big advantage because you can see how they cope in the arena, what they like, what they don't like, and this is us getting ready to go in for our test. I thought I would use the test as an opportunity to describe a little bit more about what's going on, what they're looking for, how they're marking us, because it is very, very complicated. So like I said, second on our horses. There'll be three sets of riders total on each set of horses, and you are marked on style primarily against the person that is also on your horses, if that makes sense. So three riders on each horse. If you're the best on your horse, you're likely to go through to the next round. That's essentially the kind of the core basics of bucks and then you can see here there's four red judges tables all of the judges at the end are marking us as individuals as if we're doing a normal dressage test and then the judge on the BE line is marking the team vibe the cohesiveness whether we work well as a unit you can see here like there's a little bit more of a gap between horses like one and two than there is between horses two and three that's the kind of thing that they would pick up on so in terms of order I am at the front, so I'm the one the furthest down the centre line. Lucy is in the middle and Mona is at the back. We were quite happy that Lucy was in the middle because it's all, again, random. You don't get to pick. It depends what horse you draw. That decides your order. And the only person who's allowed to speak is the person, person in the middle is allowed to say the words and now throughout the dressage test to kind of prompt when you should be turning, what you should be doing. There's a lot going on. And we'd practiced with everyone in each order, but I think we definitely preferred it with Lucy in the middle. You can see there that from a personal point of view, I broke in the medium trot, I broke into canter, and that was really quite costly. I was only about two marks off of being the best on my horse. Spoiler alert, I wasn't, I didn't go through. And yeah, that I obviously got a four for that, whereas the rest of my test was like sixes and sevens, so that was pretty costly. But I did love my pony, I thought they were so much fun. Me to a T, and yeah, I was quite happy that I drew her. So as well as this, we're getting comments from the judge at the BE line and let me just say, this guy was not having it. He did not like us. We genuinely thought we did quite a good team test. Even like after the individual marks came out when we were waiting for the team marks, we still thought we'd absolutely smashed it. And yeah, no. So we got a four for that medium trot where I broke into the canter and he just wrote first horse broke second horse running third horse hollow 
So, you know, he <laughs> wasn't really sugarcoating it. And it was a fairly complicated test to be doing with three horses in the arena. You saw down at the bottom we did a walk to canter. So it's like it tests you in a nice enough way. And then we're about to come across the diagonal and back to trot. And I know Lucy had to be very tactical here because her horse was getting quite close to mine. So she came back a lot earlier and then stayed in trot for a lot longer. So it's little things like that that you kind of have to have in your mind when you're doing bucks how can i make the situation slightly better if i need to we got a lot of fives for our team test and the collectives and the collective comment at the end it's just gonna haunt me it's so funny it's probably the most savage thing anyone's ever written on my dress on sheet ever so the collective comments for the team test said rather lucky in your coordination now, I don't think that's luck. I think we smashed that. <laughs> I thought we did a good job, but it is what it is. So here we're coming down the centre line. I got a six for my centre line as an individual and we got a five for our centre line as a team. So yeah, and they were proper list one BD judges. So they were probably like, what have we just watched? <laughs> Team test debrief, how do we feel it went? Who wants to start with this? Mm, I think it went well, like cohesion wise, the three of us were quite synchronized, Ooh. so I was happy about that. Um, individually, my, my legs are killing. <laughs> you had to work hard. I my did. arms are killing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think both of them did awesome individual tests, and I think we were saying our team tests, like it looked quite cohesive. Ooh. Mine got a little bit excited, and that was mm. probably like on me, and the girl after me wrote it amazingly, but. We're happy, like we first round done, and who knows, maybe someone will have another test to do. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That's um yeah, and then Gracie, who's obviously going as an individual with like in a task with people she hasn't met, is just warming up now. So I will show you some like segments from her test as well. Shortly after Gracie's test finished, we got the news that none of us had qualified for the final round, so we did head off site and drown our sorrows in carbohydrates for a bit. There was still like six hours of competition, so we thought we'd take a break and come back for the incredible final round, which I am about to show you. It was insane. Two riders doing two tests each at, I think, advanced medium. I know I've said a hundred different levels, but I think advanced medium. These were the two horses being demoed for the tests. One of them was an X4 star eventer. They had to do a set test on this one and then on the other horse they had to come up with their own freestyle to music with a floor plan still on only a five minute warm up and because I was in awe I have left in a couple of clips. And then here's us setting up the show jumping course ready for the next day. Look, I finally got the whole team in the vlog. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about today. You may have noticed uh, we didn't do much because <laughs> <laughs> none of us made it out of the first round. So I'm pretty sure that one of the last clips you were seeing was us talking about like how cohesive the test was. Judge did not agree. <laughs> Um, yeah, we got we got like slated a little bit, but Grace, we haven't had about your test. How was your test? I thought it went quite well. <laughs> to be fair, it got a really good mark. I was just one mark off, like going through, so it's better than you really. Yeah, yours was nice. You did a nice test. Yeah. So yeah, we we didn't get through. It was basically like the the highlight from day one. But we've pulled our like we've done our drawn order for tomorrow for jumping. How is everyone feeling about the drawn order? Lucy, you're up very early. Second to go. So mm -hmm. you're gonna have an early start. And then who's next out of all of us? You are. Oh, <laughs> <Let> me. <laughs> and then, oh, Gracie's like last. Yeah, when I'm are last. you, Mona? I think I'm 38th or something. Okay. Yeah, we'll be warming up together. Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, mm. like lots to do tomorrow and in these like bucks comps, the jumping can be so much more influential than the dressage. So we're going to try and like stay positive. But yeah, I'll like put the comments on like the screen to the dressage test so you can see the judge was really <laughs> not a fan. We were told in our collectors at the end that like we were lucky because we were coordinated and I think it was skill. So, <laughs> but yeah, that is the rather short day one. Hopefully we'll have more success tomorrow. So let's see. Stay tuned. Right, a very brief good morning everybody. It's the final day of University Equestrian Nationals today. We've got Lucy having a little cup of tea in the corner. And today is jump day. Obviously I won't chat for too long because we told you last night about where we draw and we debrief the day. There's not much to say but not as early start today so everyone's feeling ready to go and hoping for a more successful day than yesterday. Okay guys, I don't even know if you can see my face, but flow is up. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Aww. Sorry Flo. Didn't get to see that one. So, you've had your first little glimpse at the horse that I drew. Here's me heading into the ring to start my round. A bucks horse that you have to salute at the start before they announce who you can carry on. So, you hear that now? So, yeah, he was super cute. I was actually really excited to ride him. He's pretty different to anything I'd ever ridden before. He was very big, lollopy. He was awesome and honest to a fence when he saw it, but between the fences, I felt like I didn't do a particularly good job at making him look nice. He was quite hard work to just stay in canter, for example. But he was, yeah, a really cool horse to ride who wanted to do the job. One girl rode him first and she did a clear round and she actually made him look really nice. So I knew I had quite a big job ahead of me when I went in and it did not help that I just couldn't really see a stride on him. I'd had a five minute warm up and I'd taken three of my four practice fences because all three went really nicely and you have a bit of a risk I guess that if you have a fourth fence and it goes badly then you can't take a fifth one so I took three practice fences and came in here. You'll see I had fence three down there and marking is not the exact same as it would be for normal show jumping so a pole down is worth five penalties which is quite costly and a stop would be worth even more than that. A stop is worth 10 for your first one, 20 for your second one. That corner, I don't know if he was being a little bit nappy, but when he dropped back to trot, I really couldn't get him back into canter, but was really happy with this line because the first girl had struggled to make him put four down there. I think she put five in there. So I was pleased with that, but I knew at the time that I wasn't riding the most stylish round. And it's difficult because it's one thing to get on a horse that you don't really know and try and get it around a course. It's another thing to try and do that whilst thinking about style and I think style went a bit out of the window in favour of just getting him round. You'll see we had a very near miss here and we got a bit of an applause. I'm not really sure what happened. Thank you! In temperament. How was your round, Luna? Happy? Good. It was, I like, I enjoyed jumping because he jumped much bigger than the fences. I did a clear round. I'm happy. I was lucky on number two, though, because the pole went up and then kind of turned and landed back mm -hmm. in. So, yeah, I'm nice. happy was, about that. Just waiting for results. It was very good. Lucy? I thought it went pretty good. I rode a nice round until, like, the last two fences. You were on like, early as well. Other so. people have had problems on the horse, so. Happy? It'll come down to the style mark. And how are you feeling, Gracie? Good. <laughs> Good. 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 And mine was a little bit ugly, but it was no, a big horse, and I was I'm happy to have got round. <laughs> Right, very quick update from me. 
that horse was lovely, so cute that I jumped my first round on. I don't think he suited me that well. He's very big and gangly and I just didn't really ride a good enough test. So I haven't got through, but all three of my amazing teammates have got through to the second round, which we are the only uni to have done that. So very pleased with that. And we've got quite a quick turnaround. So I'm going to support them. I'll film them. I'll let you know how it goes. So the first round was done on style and result. And then this round is done on result. But then if it's a draw, then style comes into it. So yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> snack break because I am starving and it is very very warm but our amazing teammate Gracie has made it all the way through to round three which is literally of the 45 riders that were competing here six people it's quite sizable and same rules still apply you get five minutes up to four jumps maximum before you go in so yeah we're gonna see which horse she draws walk the course and wish her luck it's honestly that's an incredible team she's a dressage rider as well so I'm in awe. I think I would be feeling rather sick by this point, so I'm quite glad that I'm not doing it. Ignore the shaky footage, but this was us walking the course for round three. It was quite large. So this round was done on penalties, and then if you were on a tie, it was done on time. So you also had to think about riding relatively forwardly, and there was a little bit of drama in the demo, as this was one of the horses they proposed using, and he really took a disliking to this double and eventually had to be subbed out. I don't think you can really see me in this light, but Gracie is just warming up now. It's so funny because this warm perina was literally packed earlier and now it is derelict. So she is the last to go on her horse. Two people have gone already. The first person had a pole, the second person was clear. And in the event that she goes clear, it's down on time. So have a look. like on different horses and there's just two of them so good luck Gracie <laughs> After an epic clear, Gracie just had one more round to jump and she knew she could have three poles, but not four. If it got to four, then it came down to time.
<laughs> well done, Gracie. Smash that. Not bad for a dressage rider. <laughs> I think she needs a career change. <laughs> So there you have it, my 2023 Bucks Nationals vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it kind of wrapped up very quickly, so I thought I would quickly finish by letting you know the results, where we came. Obviously, you'll have seen that my awesome teammate Gracie won the whole show jumping as an individual overall, which is an epic achievement. And then in terms of the team, Loughborough Uni came last in the dressage <laughs> no surprise to anyone after watching this vlog but a bit of a shame some work definitely needed and then we had a complete row reversal and won the show jumping overall which that was good we needed that that was our redemption arc which meant that overall we came team third so we got a little bronze medal which is very exciting i'll put a photo on the screen of us all now looking super happy and chuffed and i would just like wrap up this entire vlog by saying if you're at university and thinking about giving bucks a go or whether it's on the cards for a few years, you're applying to universities and you're not sure if you want to get involved, honestly do. You'll have seen that this week really wasn't my week. I didn't make out of the first round in either phase, which is slightly disappointing. However, the takeaways from bucks are huge. You get to meet horsey people at university and make friends with like-minded people. You get to kind of make riding a team sport, which it often isn't, which I really, really enjoy. And some days it will be your day. You have to take it with a bit of pinch of salt. And the one thing that I think a lot of Bucks riders will agree is it will eat you alive if you let university riding define you as a rider you can't be doing that you've got to kind of enjoy it and do it for the fun but I had such an amazing weekend and watched some really impressive tests and got to ride some really nice horses so my kind of final closing note would be if you're thinking about it if you're on the fence go to trials go to tryouts when you join uni and worst case you might meet some horsey people best case you might make a team and have some great fun so thank you for watching i will see you very very soon probably back on my own horses bye